Hi, Kevin McCaffrey here from Conversion Aid Services. Today I want to share with you why Google Analytics doesn't show a product category uh, for Magento, uh, for at least for the default installation of Magento. If we went to Google Analytics and into the e-commerce section overview, we look at the product category and we see that it's not set. The reason is because uh, the, the default Magento code isn't passing that information to Google Analytics, so it's not being recorded. And if we look at where the code is, if you go into App, Code, Core, Madge, Google Analytics, Block, GA.php, and if you find this function here, Get Orders, Tracking Code, you'll see this line here, there's no category defined for the order item. So while that's correct, it doesn't mean there's no category for the product, because we know in Magento there are, uh, each product is assigned to a category. The problem Magento has is that each product can be assigned to multiple categories. So which category should it display in Google Analytics? So they have decided instead of showing all categories, they just show no category at all. Now to allow us to, to fix this, we just need to add a little bit of code. And if you take a look at this version here, on the same line, now I've got this category list. What we're doing here is building the list of categories associated with the product. And we're doing it with this block of code here. So we're going in and getting the product by the SKU, loading the product, and then generating a list, uh, a collection list of products. Now we just loop through and build up our list of products and we separate it with, in this case, a pipe character. You can change it to a comma, uh, whatever you like. And when you do that, uh, upload that code to your Magento installation. Give it a few hours till the next orders come through. Look in, uh, in the same place again. You should see some product categories being filled out here. In each case, it'll be the full set of product categories for that product. Now, you need to decide for yourself, for your own installation, whether this, uh, whether there's the products are assigned to too many categories. If they're assigned to too many categories, I'm not sure the length that Google Analytics will show, but it would probably be truncated at some point, um, and it may be too much. Uh, it may also be too intensive uh, calculation to make to get, to get the, the full list. So just be aware of that in your own installation. Test it on a test system for uploading to your live site. Once you do that, you start getting very useful information about the categories that have been ordered by your customers. I'll provide uh, some this code in text format. I may provide a link to my website where you can get the code um, to see if you're writing it all out again. And if you have any questions or any comments, please leave them here or contact me via my website. It's Kevin McCaffrey from Conversion Rate Services. Thank you.